So Wind Streaks just came out, and I've seen some really impressive ones. Okay, so yeah, not that one, but on my free to play, I got like 23 wins in a row. I have another account where I got this win streak. Nice. My editor has a 100 game win streak. Bobby has a mental 196 game win streak, which is crazy, but the highest I've seen is Doritos with a 400 game win streak. But in this short series, I want to set a record which will be almost impossible to beat. I want to get a 1,000 game win streak. Hold up, wait a minute. I just saw that Ben had pros carry him to 500 win straight, and then those pros went on to win a thousand straight, which is crazy impressive, but can the average player do it? Well, this average player is going to try. I'm gonna see if I can get to a thousand wins, and I'm not gonna have a single pro help me along the way. Let's see if I can do it. Now to do that, I'm going to have to do this in stages. So the first part of my plan is to, of course, create a new account. Now with that out of the way, I know I'm going to have to eventually unlock all of the brawlers. So I went ahead and engaged Dirty Jimmer mode and I got busy in the shop. Activate the brawl pass. I, I already have seven brawlers and I've only played one game. If I make it to 500 wins straight, then you're contractually obligated to use code Lex in the shop. That's just, or the Supercell store, either one. Oh my gosh, they give me a jackpot for you. So with seven brawlers unlocked, and I hadn't even played a real game yet, it was time to get this right. win streak started. But then something curious happened. Where's my win streak? That's two games won. So I thought that, you know, maybe it was just like a glitch. So I collected my Jesse and El Primo and tried again. Okay, does this engage my win streak? Uh, hello? So I was thinking maybe it was just like a brawler thing. So I swapped over to Nita and with another quick win, Finally, the winning streak had begun. So I decided to go ahead and play Nita up to 100 trophies. And I was only starting off and I already had a bit of a close call with just my second game. We're gonna just, don't you do it. Oh my gosh, bro. Now this one wasn't that scary, but it did remind me to not get too reckless because if there's one thing that I've learned from all of Kairos' Nuzlocke videos, anything can happen with just one simple mistake. No! <laughs> and that's what we call foreshadowing. And another thing that I can see in my future is telling you about the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5. I know you guys have heard about how awesome the Z Fold 5 is for gaming, and it is, but that's just one small aspect of what this phone can do. I travel a lot for work, and I love to take pictures and videos of all the different places that I visit. And the camera on the Z Fold 5 takes some of the best quality images and videos possible. I don't even take my bigger cameras with me anymore because honestly, this does the job. Just last month in Sweden, I took this awesome time lapse with my Z Fold 5 looking out the window of my hotel in Yongshipping. Pretty awesome, right? Now, I mainly just use the outside screen of the phone for normal things like, you know, checking messages, surfing the web, but anytime that I want to watch the media or play some brawl, the big screen is absolutely perfect for that. It's like having a phone and a tablet all in one package that fits in your pocket. And of course, if I want an actual full-size tablet, I can always use my Tab S9 Plus, but this doesn't fit in my pocket. Maybe I need bigger pockets. Of course, the big screen on the Z Fold 5 is perfect for gaming, and honestly, it's one of the smoothest devices that you can play on thanks to its 480 hertz touch sample rate. But this phone is so much more than just a gaming device. It's a foldable smartphone, first and foremost, and a pretty amazing one at that. If you want to check out the Z Fold 5, there's a link in the description for you, and big thanks to Samsung for sponsoring not only this video, but also this channel. And then with win number nine, I pushed Nita past 100 trophies and she was done. Well, for now, because if you've done the math, you've realized by now that I just can't play bot matches to that 1,000 win streak. And after that, I'll need to press on against real players for another 400 wins to reach my ultimate goal of a 1,000 game win streak. So I may come back to Nita in the future, but for now, it's Nacho Libre time. Now, I decided to give Brawl Ball a run because the games go really fast, but... You see, the problem is I have teammates and I can't control them. Shell, you're just standing there. Oh my gosh. And in my very first game, I had a teammate named Brawler and well, he wasn't brawling. So that made me wonder, can you actually win a game of Brawl Ball without attacking at all? There was one way to find out. All right, there we go. Fudge, scored. How much damage did I, uh, I healed though. And Brawl Stars, well, they weren't so impressed with my performance. And the last star drop they gave me for the day was this. 
However, I did get enough XP to get five tiers of the Brawl Pass done. So with that, I collected my next brawler and started working towards Poco, which happened instantly, thanks to the Trophy Road. Now I thought things were going really smooth and I like wasn't really thinking during the games, but then I found myself in a game with double Miko teammates. And this is where I got my first real scare. Miko, where are you going? Bro, 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 bro. Oh my gosh. I can't kill the Nita. I can't kill the, oh my gosh, do I? Go! You see, this is the problem with Brawl Ball. I mean, yes, the games are fast, but if you get a couple of really bad teammates, when you have a level one brawler, it's exceedingly hard to carry, even against three bots. What are you doing? Walk it in. Oh. And if you think this was just a one-time thing that was happening, you'd be mistaken because this is going to be a reoccurring theme. In fact, this might just end up being a Lex Raging on Randoms compilation. I don't know. Poco, you're taking the scenic route, Poco. Poco, I, I know they can't see you if you hide in the grass. I get it, but homie, look it. Just go. What is he doing? <laughs> You didn't have to wait for that, Boko. And then I had to give a little lesson to my triple El Primo squad. You, you, you missed that jump a little bit there, Primo. That's how you do it, El Primo. All right, just, just showing you for future reference. And they're all going to get, oh my gosh, what is that jump, my bro? I can't help you with that one. So with El Primo done, I decided to finish off my Shelly, and I couldn't help myself but to troll my teammates a little bit. Just, just a little. Nah, Miko, I messed up. Oh, I trolled my own teammate. I pushed him back so that he would jump on nothing. Sorry about that, Miko. And after win 21, I unlocked Season Quest, and this is going to add an entire new layer to this challenge because I have to complete these quests despite some of them being much harder to complete, especially with low-level randoms. Now, with Shelly finished off, it was time to complete some other quests and some other game modes, and I had my eye on Knockout, but I was unsure of which brawler I should take in so that I could make sure I could carry, and I decided on Jesse and powered her up to level 7. But considering what was about to happen, this was, well, <laughs> let's just say a rather dubious choice. Primo, he's right in front of your face, bro. Just punch him. Really? Okay, they were both just standing in the grass like a little, they were peeking through the grasses like, ooh, do they see me? Now I was completing quests like crazy and getting a ton of rewards. I picked up a new brawler from credits on the trophy road and then I chose my next brawler and of course instantly unlocked him as well. So then I chose yet another one. Now remember when I said Jesse was an iffy choice? Well, in the very next game, this happened. <gasps> I died? Oh my gosh, just run, dude. Get your health back, please, please. And Hooray! what's our bull doing? Oh my gosh. You're dead, you're dead, you're dead. We just lost one round, oh my gosh. It's just me versus this bow. If I lose here, oh my gosh, no, no. <sighs> yeah, this is the problem with knockout. And so while Jesse was done, my time in knockout was not. So I leveled up Poco to seven because, well, I'm scared and Poco's weak. And I thought, you know what? He's a brawler that I might play later on. So I fired up a game of knockout and then something strange happened. Wait, why was that counting up slowly? Now it normally gives you like instant matches against bots, but it was counting up past three and I got freaked out. So I just left knockout instantly and I went back to Brawl Ball and I thought that was gonna be easy. But then <laughs> I met Jose. My man, what are you doing? Like somebody just kill him. I want him dead at this point. Oh my gosh, he's one of these guys. Okay, well, you know what? And yeah, it didn't get any better the next game either. And I honestly was starting to get pretty frustrated and I was only at game number 33. Bro, what are you doing, Nita? This is gonna be tough. Now we had players who had no clue of what was going on, kicking the ball into the wall multiple times, players BMing the bots, and just overall, we looked like somebody who couldn't even get a job as a speed bump. But eventually I did complete Poco and claimed an insane amount of Brawl Pass rewards. Here comes Bo. Nice. Okay. To just like brawlers galore. After that, I grabbed one of my least favorite brawlers in the game and I leveled him up to power five. Now I wanted to finish that knockout quest, so I did that real quick. And then in my infinite wisdom, I decided to take Frank into solo showdown on a wide open map called Dune Drift. And well, in the words of Byron, that was a big mistake. Now, first off, 
in my very first game. I missed not one, not two, but three supers in one game. Yeah, and then I decided to go again. And what happened next? Oh my gosh, no, 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 no. Oh my gosh, no, 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 no. Oh my goodness gracious. I was that close to losing it all at only a 42 game win streak. So I decided to go in a different direction, but not before connecting my Supercell ID and picking up Barley. So I had a bunch of quests still in gym grab. So yeah, I thought I just went for it. And after some smooth sailing on my last frame game, I did have like half of a heart attack, not all one. I wouldn't be here, but just like half of one trying to block for her. Like she just wanted to lose. Now, was I being too cautious? Perhaps, but all she had to do was sit back and collect the gems, but instead, no. Hey, let's run into Bull's face. Let's see how that works out. Some people, they just want to see the world burn, and uh, I guess I'm the one here who has to stop it. So then I collected all of my rewards from the Brawl Pass, including Charlie. And since just one brawler isn't enough, well, I decided to do something reckless with my gems, and I picked up this offer in the shop. Now, this was a lot of gems, but eventually, eventually, if I make it to the end, I'll be able to use Edgar to help carry my games against real players. So it actually makes sense. Okay, so it probably doesn't make sense, but I'm listen, I'm justifying my purchase, okay? So I took that Edgar and I went into gym grab and I absolutely slaughtered the bots and then I went into heist and something happened that could cost me everything. Okay, well, I hope I'm doing something. I'm just lagged out. No, this is not the challenge to lag out. Oh my gosh, I'm swiping out. Please tell me he did something. Please tell me he did something. Oh my gosh, if I lose right here connection error no there's no connection error no there's no connection error my internet actually just went out it says it's connected now please please for the love of god please 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 oh. when i finally loaded back in the game was over and somehow some way we actually ended up winning and it brought my streak up to 50 a level one bow and a level one mortis this was yet another reminder on how fragile this streak actually is one mistake one really bad random or even one technical problem and it could be all over with my connection stable, I smashed through the rest of my games with Edgar, and then I picked up my next brawler. So then with the next brawler I needed to play, I chose Colt, and I leveled him up because I figured if I made it to the end, I could play him against some real players. And then after one game, I unlocked Rosa and chose my next brawler. I'll go 8-bit. Now I still had some solo showdown quests oh. to complete, so I took Colt there. Oh my gosh, no. Which was honestly a pretty sketchy call because of how low hit points he actually has. And let me tell you, there were some moments. Oh my gosh. But I finally completed the showdown quest with 61 straight wins in the bag. And then after a couple wins in Brawl Ball, it was time to get our next brawler. I chose Ash and and I leveled him up as far as my coins would actually allow, which honestly kind of sucked. I was already out of coins, and I was so distracted by that that I forgot to put on the cool skin that I got in the beginning of this video. Now, I had a bunch of quests for Ash, and some of them I didn't know if I could actually complete them in eight games, so I decided to prolong the game just to complete my quest. And with my fifth game on Ash, I got to 69 wins. 69 win streak, and the video is over. And then it was time to choose my next brawler to play, and I went with a Power One Gale. Now, I was getting a little bored at this point, so I decided to do a little trolling with Gale. <laughs> Frank, you missed your super because of me. In retrospect, maybe it wasn't the smartest thing to do, but I mean, it was kind of amusing. Now the rest with Gale was actually pretty easy and he brought me to 80 straight wins. And with only 20 more wins to go, I decided to go with my other brawler who had a six skin, Sam. Now let's just say it didn't start off so great. No! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, 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 okay. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Sam is meant to be super aggressive, but with only power six and no star power to regain my health, I couldn't do that. And the nightmare wasn't over because I had a bunch of really close calls with him. Oh my gosh, again? I even uh, got in touch with my inner uh, Jose for a moment. Guys, don't worry about me. I don't care. I don't care. You're judging me right now for doing that. And my teammates are like brain dead. Game after game, I was completely stressed out playing Sam. This is this challenge is going to kill me. I, I don't know. I'm going to have a heart attack before this ends. But I finally made it to 88 wins and my time with Sam was done. 
and I'm not going back to him. That left only two brawlers to go to get my 100 wins for this video. So for my next one, I chose M's and I powered her up to level six. Now with 12 games to go to reach my first milestone, the games honestly went pretty smooth. Now that's not to say that I didn't have some special teammates. Like you just supered it backwards, Max. And Bo's about to super it into nothing. Oh my gosh, guys, guys. But I persevered and I managed to get through Ems' games without too much of a scare. So with only four wins left, I selected my last brawler for this video. And this one is actually really strong in the game right now. One more game to finish the first 100 game win streak. That would put me 10% of the way to my ultimate goal of 1,000 wins consecutively in Brawl Stars. All right, they're gonna rush. Boys, do you know what to do? Do you know how to play against bots? They're all right. Okay, well, I, I can do it too, myself. Bull, he supers. Does he get it? He does. Naruto. He put the Rasengan in the goal for 100 straight wins in Brawl Stars. So there's the first 100. Oh, only 900 more to go.